um, well, we've been talking about uh, the, uh, the idea of building box slang for quite a few years. Uh, whether or not it made sense, whether or not it would be successful, uh, how much effort it would be. Um, at the end of the day, we love Cold Fusion. We're a Cold Fusion company and we make Cold Fusion solutions for our Cold Fusion clients in most cases. And we need to be able to deliver uh, something that we can uh, control the whole stack. We can fix the bugs, we can fix the performance issues, we, make, we can make it all work. And having control over not just the MVC framework and the command box CLI and all those aspects, but also of the core engine allows us to do uh, deeper integration and features that we've always wanted to have, bug fixes at the, at the speed that you know we want to make them at. Uh, and just being able to control the whole stack for our users. And we're looking to take the Cold Fusion language to places that uh, can't go right now. Things like AWS Lambda. We have an entire combined runtime that's uh, six and a half megabytes. And so we can do things with Boxlang that you can't do with the other CF engines right now. And that's why, uh, why we wanted to go ahead and take that step now and try to you know, go into a new area uh, and explore, you know, new features and new runtimes that basically Cold Fusion has never been able to run on in the past. Um, I think our community has been waiting for something like this for a long time. I know even myself personally have been waiting to, to kind of break out of some of the older ways of doing things. And so I think now is the time um, to push forward, and BoxLang's gonna let us do that. Uh, Ortis Solutions saw a need in the market for a new language to come in and uh, provide some of the areas that were lacking in the Cold Fusion ecosystem. Um, so BoxLang seemed like the perfect fit for that, being able to be built from scratch um, on a totally modern JVM uh, with our customers' needs in mind from the very beginning. Hi.